Grenade Games 5 coming out of Whistler, Canada. This is going to be insane. It's going to be bigger and better than we've ever done it before. We're going to Canada, eh? Eh? Okay, wait, no. You said Canada. You can't call Canada Canada. We're going to Canada, eh? That's it. There you go. All right, Tom Tom. I kind of missed my first flight, but I'm pretty sure that there's really nothing important that's going to happen until I get there. Next up, Whistler. Come on. I think we just ran over a blue boat. To Whistler, grenade games. In Whistler? Good look at that. First time Whistler. ever. We take it in the finals. Oh. People are starting to come in. People are getting together. The first official day of grenade games is kind of when everybody rolls into town. People know it's, you know, around that time. Grenade games. Yes. Yeah. What's up? Grenade, grenade games 2009. Grenade. Here we are in Whistler. A man here. Everybody, big round of applause. Let's make this happen. Let's do this! Day one grenade games, underway. There's gonna be a dual slalom in there somewhere. We're gonna do the poker tournament. Which is basically everyone travels from one table to another throughout the two different peaks and gets a card at each one. And then when they finally come down, they get their final card. And uh, that's their poker hand, those five cards that they play. Aaron, what'd you get? I got a six! Now at the end of the day, who has, you know, the full hand or who has the better cards will determine who makes it into the poker tournament at the end. I kind of stumbled across a whole deck of cards already in my pocket, so I may or may not be cheating, but I just want to secure my point and be at the poker table at the end of the day. Poker run's getting started. Everybody, let's do this. Woo! Hey, games! Day two of grenade games, here we are. Black comb, Martin Lay heading up the dual column. So we've started off with the bull rider, or no boarding is basically a mogul field and you try and make it down with no bindings. This one's kind of a no boarder, so you have a rope. And it looks like you have to do some no boarding to collect yourself a card. Oh! Oh. And it's kind of a jump over a monster sign into a mogul field. I wanted to go over the monster sign, I just kind of went through it. No harm, no foul. That was a fly kick! He broke it! I decided that it was time to start cutting rugs behind him. It was pretty close, it was like neck to neck. As you can be able to see on the show, I smoked him. That was a good win! Oh! I don't think it's ever been the same to me since. He beat me by a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think Jay's a little upset because he just got smoked. Looks like everybody's got their four cards and we're gonna move. Let's move down to the bottom. Let's go back to the Longhorn. You know, we're in the poker tournament. There's some good faces in there. Uh, I get knocked out pretty early. But Danny gets knocked out before I do. Then I get knocked out. Arrow's looking pretty good at this point. I believe Arrow wins, and the prize for all of this was a beautiful $5,000 Oakley watch. Hey. Fortunately, Arrow rides for Vestal. He really doesn't he can't even wear this watch, so I really don't know what he's going to do with it. Your paparazzi. Hey. I'm here, buddy. God. You miss me? Really? You miss me? You miss me? We've rented the whole restaurant and we're just selling tickets and once you get in, it's all you can eat, sushi rolls. Yeah! Kind of like open, Bob, open sushi. I'm part of the team, we're in. So people get a little crazy on too much wasabi. Yeah! Everybody's in there getting crazy. I'll say, uh, Ika, he might have had the spiciest roll out there. I think at this point, Ika's on the table dancing. Hannah's doing body shots off her. Hannah Beeman is not afraid to eat her share of sushi. 
I'm pretty sure the restaurant was almost trashed. We just got done eating sushi. We're heading over to Garfinkel's. We're going over to Garfinkel's. Yeah, yes. we're gonna make party. Nelson and myself and Kevin, we're really pushing the fact that we're going beaver hunting. <laughs> Steve Aoki, my man's DJing. Steve Aoki, mix. Um, everyone kind of notices that Kevin's starting to get like a weird thing in his wrist when he like dances to it. Old school rock, 80s music. Kevin is in full form right now. He's going hard. <laughs> 